What's up guys, Ashby at Ashby Farms, and we're out here today. Uh, this is one of our bee yards I've shown it quite a few times. And uh, what we're doing today is moving our nukes and five frame equipment into 10 frame boxes. So to give you an idea, um, this is 10 frame boxes. This is, I have staged all this equipment right here. And there's some over here, it's all new looking wood. And these right here are what we call a five over five. It's the same volume. It's a feeder plus four frames in the top box, and it's five frames in the bottom box. And what we wanna do is make it look like these right here, which is a 10 over 10. So we overwinter them like this uh, for a number of reasons. If we're going into fall and it's kind of small, this is the equivalent of a 10 frame single. But in order to make them go higher, for a commercial beekeeper's sake, we run a 10 frame box. Either way, you don't have to be commercial, but uh, today we're gonna show you what it would look like if you just put a brand new nuke in. So if it was up to me, let's say you get your brand new nuke, I would bring it home, of course a nuke is just one five frame, one five frame box, I would put it in this position, and I would let it stay for two or three days. And that way the, the bees geolocate that that's their entrance or that's their entrance right there. They know that's where they're supposed to come home to. Whenever you swap out of a five frame box into a 10 frame box, the bees still know where to come home to. So we're gonna uh, set up a little stand here on the tripod and see if I can get some good shots for you. First thing I like to do is come up, give them a little puff, say hello. These bees don't look too good. That's a dead out. <laughs> Beekeeping is not easy. Bees die. That's the fact of life. So we'll shoot for this colony here. So walk up. Say what's up. Give them a little puff of smoke. Come in here. In this case, this is a 10 over 10. I'm sorry, it's a 5 over 5 and it's booming with bees. So all you gotta do, take this hive off and just set it right there. Adjust my camera here. There we go. All right. Next step for us, Set our box, our 10 frame box in place. There's that. Just to show you what we're looking at. Pop our lid here. And all the bees will fall in. Puff the smoke over here. Make sure I'm getting the shot here. Give them a puff of smoke. So most of you will be feeding a brand new nuke. And we run one gallon frame feeders. So you wanna put your feeder against the wall it is overcast and it is cool and they're kind of grumpy today but i have work that has to get done so go frame by frame this is pollen this is all honey this is some cap nectar it goes on the outside remember that your your brood nest goes right in the middle and if you're getting a nuke you want to reconstruct it so if you've got five frames then you know, one, two, three, four, five will go in the box right in the center. One, two, three, four, five. And you'll have, you know, for us, it's nine frames plus a feeder. So that's two undrawn foundations, the five frames from the nuke, two more undrawn foundations. In this case right now, there's 10 total. So we're just going to move this over. But we always want our brood to be right in the center. All right. So we've got... Let's see here, you got nice capped brood right here. This is open larva. Let's see if we can get you, get you, there you go. 
See all these little C shapes right here? Those are larvae, they'll be capped shortly. Here's some more. And all this right here, this is drone brood at the bottom. Those are your boy bees. Lots of open brood. You can see it all up in here. So this is a brood nest. That'll be our next frame. Next frame here. So this is all eggs right here. Can't really see it. This is all sugar syrup that we just fed them. Over here, we've got, this is all honey. This is all pollen, but then this is eggs right in there. Pollen is a food frame. We usually put it towards the outside. In this case, that's gonna go right here. On all of our hives, we put a, a Swiffer sheet because we live in small hive beetle country. I don't see any problems in this one, but over winter, they propolize it, just like bee glue. And our last frame here. This last frame here is just starting to be drawn out. Typically when you see these, they go on the outside. A later management technique is I like to put an undrawn comb, an uh, undrawn frame of foundation right in the middle of our brood nest. So we never stick brood one frame by itself. We'll always have, in this case, we're gonna put three frames of brood, a foundation, and four frames of brood. We'll get to that here in just a second. These bees are kinda of grumpy. That's typical. I mean, we're messing up their home on a cloudy day where it's kind of cool. Makes sense. A good example is drone brood right here. And you'll be able to see when you crack it apart quickly, if there's mites, they'll be present on the, the larva of the drone brood. So imagine this, if this is just your five frames, you're gonna put that right in the center of those five frames right there for your brand new nuke box. In this case, I know we can take all this drone brood and we can get rid of it. I don't need it right now. Um, but drone brood is not a bad thing. You need male bees in the colony for housekeeping and another uh, uh, other Let's, let's keep everything satisfactory reasons. So we've got lots of eggs on this side. And this is honey all on this side. So we're gonna put this frame right here. This is a beautiful frame of brood. This is all cap brood. This will be emerging here within the week. Whole sheets of brood. And that is what's gonna populate this box and cause it to explode. are looking for their hole right here this is their new entrance they'll figure it out Just another frame of brood here 
I'm looking for the queen as I go. You don't have to find your queen. If you've got eggs, you know she's in here. Another nice sheet of brood emerging. And remember, one frame of brood equals two frames of bees. So this is gonna completely populate this colony here within the week. I mean, it's gonna be packed out. They will need room to expand. Cloudy day. <laughs> Frames of eggs, honey, more brood. I'm just looking for the queen because I don't want to squish her as we go in. In this case, I'm going to pop this feeder out. So we can have more room here. Like this. I'm going to give these bees a second story. At this point in time, if you've only got a nuke, it's time to put a lid on. But since we've got a need for expansion here, we'll give them a, another box. So currently, the box is full of bees. What do you do? You can be too rough with bees. However, I like to think of one big jolt and they're done. So in this case, you know, we got the frame feeder, we got nine brand new frames. Take the bees. I go one time, one big boom. Now yeah, you can come back. Tap them down. Second one. If they fly off, they know where they're going. Yes, it makes them mad. But I'm also in a hurry. You got these, they're looking for their entrance. They'll find their way home. Now they've got lots of room to expand so that they don't swarm. Um, immediately, if you've got a nuke, do not give them a second box. The reason being is if bees have too much space, they'll feel overwhelmed. In this case, we've got in the bottom box, uh, eight frames of brood. That's gonna totally populate this whole colony in quick order. So um, anyways, guys. That's Ashby Dashby Farms. Sorry I don't have a five frame nuke. All these are five over five, 10 frame, or five over five nukes, but that's what I'm dealing with. So I'm in a hurry. It's a cloudy, nasty day out. It was raining earlier. Beekeeping in the rain is not for the faint of heart. Off camera, I got a bee in my suit. It took a sting to the neck. That did not feel very good. Um, anyways, I usually get stung 10, 12 times a day anyways, but I'm a commercial beekeeper. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If you like what you saw today, uh, please subscribe, like, ask comments. Y'all have a good day. Thanks.